I'll show you a couple of examples of how to use Affinity Photo's Radial Blur filter. On my first example here, I've got a Polaris Star Trail image. These star trails are a little harsh, however, and I may want to soften them out. I'll add the non-destructive variant of the Radial Blur filter by going to Layer, New Live Filter Layer, Blur, Radial Blur. And on the dialog, I'll check Preserve Alpha, then drag the angle slider up. The origin for the blur is currently set to the middle of the image. I can very easily reposition this by click dragging on the document view. I want to position the origin over the Polaris star. The easiest way to do this is to actually reduce the amount of blur, click drag over the star, then increase the amount of blur again. I can go to quite an extreme value for an abstract effect, or I can reduce the value for a more subtle blurring of the star trails. This is of course non-destructive, so after I've closed the dialog, I can always click the radial blur thumbnail to bring the dialog back and reconfigure the effect. Moving on, here's a more complex example where I'm working on a composition. I'll select and show this additional digital ring of light layer, which I'm blending in with a screen blend mode. The ring looks a little out of place, but I like the additional lighting effect it's adding to the scene. I could try applying a radial blur to smooth it out. Once again, I'll go to Layer, New Live Filter Layer, Blur, Radial Blur. And because I've added the filter to a content layer, such as an image or pixel layer, it child layers by default, which is ideal for this scenario. I'll start dragging the angle slider up to blur the detail. And I'll also click drag to reposition the blur origin so it's more central to the ring of light. Then I can freely experiment with the amount of blur. Again, if I want to revise the effect after I've closed the dialog, I can just click on the thumbnail again and change the angle slider. And that was a quick look at the radial blur filter. I hope you found it useful, and thank you for watching.